What's up guys, I'm the here. Welcome back to the channel. And today I have my follow-up on iOS 14.4.2. Now it's been a little over a week since Apple released this software update. And of course, in this video, I wanted to share with you guys my experience so far with the latest iOS update. Now, as you may remember, Apple released iOS 14.4.2 on the heels of iOS 14.4.1 uh, two weeks later, two and a half weeks later, in order to patch an emergency software issue that needed to be addressed. So this was sort of an emergency release update to patch a bug within iOS that was affecting users in the real world. And this was released for iPads as well. So iOS 14.4.2 and iPadOS 14.4.2 was released as well. And the proper updates for the watch were released alongside as well. Now, Apple had mentioned that this was a WebKit issue that needed to be addressed rather quickly. So that's why Apple released this software, sort of an emergency release here for the iPhones and iPads. Now, I've been using it on iPhone SE second generation. I've been playing games on it. I've been using the device on a daily, of course, to provide some feedback on how the software has been so far. Keep in mind when Apple releases new patches for security, Security. There's also other issues that could occur in regards to that. So I want to take a look here at the YouTube community poll. This is where you guys provided some feedback on how the software has been working for you. Now, about 10,000 of you guys voted on this one. And the question, of course, how is iOS 14.4.2? working for you now having a great experience is at a 52 percent as you can see here now some of you guys say that it's good but still buggy so that's a 12 percent right there not good at all out of five percent and many of you guys didn't even know that the update was out so not even running 14.4.2 is at a 30 percent now these youtube community posts are posted weekly here's where you can express your thoughts you can read some comments any other issues that other users may be encountering and you can come back and check back on these youtube community posts in order to see additional information. Now, what's interesting is that some users have reported that this software has been great. One of the most popular comments here, you can see right there, it says that it's smooth, the software is great, smooth, and it's awesome. So that's obviously good to see. Now, some of you guys didn't even know that the software update was released, as you can see right there. Some of you guys are expressing a weird bug that actually downgraded most of the applications downloaded from the App Store. Once you update it to the latest 14.4.2, you have to go back into the App Store and update your applications. I didn't encounter this issue, but it looks like some of you guys did encounter this issue. And there's also a minor issue within widgets. Some of you guys see widgets disappear momentarily after rebooting for the latest updates. And some of you guys are expressing issues with the battery as well. Now, as I mentioned, these YouTube community polls are posted weekly as new software update gets released. You can come back and read some of these comments also vote and express your thoughts in that way you can sort of get a better understanding or a bigger picture on how the software is performing overall but yeah over 10,000 of you guys voted and overall it looks like the software is performing relatively well for most of you guys now my experience so far with ios 14.4.2 is that i did notice that this one fixes an issue where some users were reporting heating up issues, especially iPhone 7 users and iPhone SE first generation. So iPhone 7, 7 plus SE first generation were encountering some heating issues on your iPhone when you were using it just for, you know, simple task. And this was mentioned on Twitter when I posted this on Twitter. Some of you guys have voted that, yeah, this software definitely improves the heating issues. It's not heating up as much. Now, this could be pertaining to the bug that Apple did patch. Sometimes when security falls, I do get patched. Also, fixes come in place because the software is more complete, I guess you can say. So, yeah, if some heating issues were occurring uh, to your device, other than iPhone 7 and 7 Plus or SE first generation, I would like to know in the comments down below, did this software fix the issue for you? Now, in my personal experience, iOS 14.4.2 has been an excellent software update. I've been using it every day to play games, to watch YouTube videos, just normal tasks. And I do have to say iPhone SE second generation is performing like a champ. There's no issues, no hiccup within the software. And if you haven't updated to iOS 14.4.2, you should definitely update. Of course, it will make your device more secure and it is a solid software update overall. Although some users have reported some battery drainage issues, I haven't seen a widespread report of this. So this is a good software update. This is my follow-up on the latest iOS 14.4.2. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.